Okay, good afternoon, everyone. It is Thursday, August the 10th, 2023. Um, I wanted to get this video in. Um, so on my Top Step Trader 150K Express Funded account, at one point I was up two or $300, but I ended up down on the day 122 spot 24. Um, I thought Thursday's price action was very difficult. Um, so I wanted to go over it. Um, this was very tough. I'm just going to tell you this. This was very tough. Like it was just a very tough day, in my opinion. Um. So, just a couple of things of note. I probably will have to focus on this top step account versus my personal account because uh, number one, I'm losing money on my personal account, um, which is not good. But number two. Um, this account is now free to me, and as long as I don't hit minus 4,500, I'm not going to lose the account. So basically, as long as Top Step is around, I mean, I'm not losing this account. Uh, if I'm trading three micro NASDAQs, I'm not losing the account. So there's that. Um, so, you know, today, um, my basic rules are this. I trade three micro NASDAQ contracts. I try and enter in on fair value gaps and order blocks, and I'm trying to aim for liquidity. Um, I think mostly today I followed my rules. Um, I, I don't think I can trade two accounts at the same time. Um, so I think what I'm going to have to do uh, is uh, put, put a hold on my trade station account until I can refund it, uh, put enough money in there really to start just trading my trade station, which is my ultimate objective. So I'm going to leave the money that I still have left in there. It's about $1,300. I've lost a lot. Um, I had $2,900. I've lost $1,600. So it's not good. Um, so anyways, um, so the 20 point stop you know, without regard to price action has not really been working. Um, I don't know why I thought today was just really difficult price action. I really did. Um, we ended up, and yeah, we ended up down on the day, or I guess almost down on the day. At one point we were down on the, the whole day. Um, you know, so in the first opening the first opening range or basically the opening 30 minutes uh, we drew higher and we drew up into some we drew up into a regular trading hours gap back here and then we started trading down and usually you know somewhere somewhere around like here or here I really thought that the market was about to turn back higher uh, but that did not happen. Instead, we ran up into this order block and it very zealously it filled in, redelivered that opening range gap, at which point I thought again we were going higher. We did not do that. We ran up again to this order block. We ran down for more sell side liquidity, at which point I thought we were going to have like a nice rally higher. We ended up having a little bit of a rally higher, but not, not very much of one at all. Um, so it was just a very frustrating day. Um, price action was really, really doing me dirty today. Um, I mean, luckily I didn't really lose that much money on my, well, on my trade station I did. On my top, on my top step here I only lost 122. Of course, I don't like having losing days, but I'd rather, you know, not lose that much money. Um, yeah, I, I, I have to use, I want to give you all some examples of, um, the stops that, yeah, so just a flat 20-point stop is not working, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. Okay, so let's say, for example, that you enter in short at an order block. If you, you can put your stop right above the mean threshold of an order block as price creates it and moves below it. That That's one way to do it. Uh, if you're entering in on a fair value gap, um, so here. That was a five minute fair value gap. Um, if you see that the market looks like it's gonna, well actually it's an inverted fair value gap, five minute. If you're using an inverted fair value gap here at the top of the range for your um, 
for your entry, you might be stopped out once, but what you want to do is take this candle right here and you see the low 422 spot 5, one tick above that 422 spot 75. Right there. And then you would never be stopped out. Um, I'm being way too aggressive with the break even stops. Um, I'm going to show you my executions today, and I'm, I'm definitely way too aggressive with the break even stops. So you can see today was very wicky. I mean, it was just wick central. Just very illiquid price action. Very, very, it's just wick central. Look at that little thing right there. Just not clean price action at all. Um, you could see that I was basically trying to buy for most of the day. I ended up getting a pretty decent long here. Um, most of these trades are me being stopped out break even, if I'm being honest with you. And so... Uh, even though I do believe in moving your stop to break even, I'm doing. I'm just doing it way too fast. Um, I'm scared to lose money, and I don't even know why this money's not real. It's simulated. Um, yeah, I'm being way too aggressive with the break even stops, uh, especially in an illiquid market situation. Um, this candle had me worried. I thought the market might turn around there. Um, you know, looking at the price action here, I think where I could have trailed down my stop, if that's what I'm going to do, take this inverted fair value gap, okay, right there, and let's say that you entered somewhere up here, right? And that, that candle scaring you, right? Just Just go to the low of this candle right here. 370 spot 75 and just go ahead and place your stop right there at 370 spot 50 and then you would never be stopped out um, and you can also obviously take off let's say I'm trading three micro NASDAQs you can take off um, you can take off partials as the you know as you see this candle form and you realize you know that could be a reversal candle right there uh, I mean, all the way down, guys, I thought that might reverse price. That was kind of looking like it might reverse price. That looked like it might reverse price. And that was looking like it might reverse price. <laughs> None of them did, really. Uh, the price just kept drawing down to that sell side liquidity. But it was a high resistance liquidity run, which was very frustrating. It didn't, it didn't smoothly go down there. Um, so it was just a very frustrating day in terms of price action. Um, Yeah, I'm being far too aggressive with the break-even stops, uh, and I'm also uh, I need to use a price action based stop. So if you're using an inverted fair value gap, you can you can use um, one tick above like that candle's low, and then trail it down the next inverted fair value gap one tick above that candle's low. That would be for a fair value gap entry. Uh, for an order block entry, you can put a stop. If you see an order block. You can also put your stop one tick above the mean threshold of the order block as price moves away. Um, and then in addition to that, guys, let's say that you have a long wick in efficiency. You can use the mean threshold of that one tick below it can be your stop. And I'm not going to lie, guys. Like, really, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I, I really thought the price was going to reverse here. I mean, I really did. Uh, of course, that did not happen. Um, but that that was looking very reversey to me. So I'm being way too aggressive with the break even stops. I've got to allow myself to get stopped out more. Um, I'm not using a price action based stop. I'm kind of just using a 20 point stop and that that is not working. That is not working. I need to use a price action based stop, a pattern based stop. Um, so too aggressive with the break even stops for sure. Um, I'm probably not taking partials enough. That's probably something. 
Um, I'm not, you know, I'm not recognizing these high resistance liquidity runs when they happen. I'm, I'm kind of seeing everything as a reversal. Uh, I'm trading two accounts at once, and that probably has to stop as well. Um, I did, you know, follow my, I followed my risk management on my top step account today. I did not start trading until 0950, so I followed that rule. Um, I have to use a price action based stop. I have to stop being so aggressive with the break even stops. I will continue to, to start trading in 0950. That that is going to continue. Um, I'm going to have to focus on trading my top step account until I can fully fund, you know, and have enough capital in my trade station account, you know, to really mess with it. Um, because especially on a hard day like today, today was a hard day, I think. Um, focusing on two accounts is, is probably too much. Uh, so I'll just focus on my top step account and, and try and get to a payout here. I ultimately want to trade my own cash, of course. But um, this account is free to me at this point, so there's no reason I shouldn't be trading it, focusing on it. Um, Price action based stop, uh, so above the mean threshold of an order block, taking parcels, probably focusing on one account, unless we have like an easy price action day. But every day this week has been, look at all this, Chop City, man. This is really Chop City, so I am being too aggressive with the break even stops, for sure. Uh, and I'm trailing up my stop too quickly. I'm putting in the break even stop too quickly. I'm afraid to lose money. Um, I've gone from gambling to I'm afraid to lose money now. So, all right. That's what I have to say today about Thursday, August the 10th, 2023, and about what I'm doing wrong. Um, yeah, I'm just too aggressive with the break-even stops. I, you know, especially on a wiki day like this, a very wiki day, very high resistance liquidity run. Um, I thought all the time the market was going to reverse, and it did not. Did not do that. Uh, probably not taking parcels enough, and I do need to be trailing my stop up, but more slowly. So trail up the stop more slowly. Uh, don't don't put in the break even stop too quickly. Take parcels off as the market goes to liquidity, and then also also. Um, and I'm writing this in my journal. I, I do think that I'm probably re-entering the market a bit too quickly. Um, I do need to probably wait, wait a few, wait a few more minutes before, um, before re-entering the market. I mean, guys, this is this is hard price action. This is hard price action because you're you're seeing reversals all over the place when the market's not reversing. Um, it's just a high resistance liquidity run, and you could you it would fool me. Um, this run here was so much cleaner. I mean, that's really what you want in terms of a run. The runs today, that's really tough. That's just really hard price action because you think, you know, that candle might reverse it, that candle might reverse it, that order block market structure shift finally did get a little reversal in there. Um, it's very hard. It's very hard price action today, in my opinion. High resistance liquidity run. Probably your cleanest move was just from 0950 uh, to the lunch session. Just, just the cleanest move down. And that's about it, guys. That's about all I have for you. Bye-bye.